not a world of men. I want you to be a man. You could just be a man in this one moment. I gotta be a man. Be a man. It's be a man time. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Am I supposed to be a man? Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. Be a man. You can act like a man. Be a man. Hey guys, I'm in here. Today we're talking comfort. And nothing says comfort like sheath. Sheath makes the most comfortable boxes I've ever worn. If you're sick of boxes that are too loose, or briefs that are too tight, sheath is for you. I'm wearing a pair of sheath underwear right now and every time you hear from me. It's the best. Once you get one pair, it's gonna change your life. The most comfortable box of briefs you'll ever put on your body. Their stretchy fabric is made out of moisture wicking technology. They're super soft, keep everything cool and comfortable right in place. Sheath is particularly useful for staying cool during the summer and for working out. The most unique thing about sheath underwear is that they have these dual pouches to keep your man parts separated, which prevents things from sticking together. I was a little skeptical about dual pouches, but let me tell you, it's a game changer. If you're not into the idea, you don't have to use them. You can still just wear them like a regular pair of underwear. They'll be the most comfortable pair of boxer briefs you've ever worn in your life. Plus, they have brand new materials like bamboo and mesh for even more cooling comfort. Go to sheathunderwear.com and get the most comfortable underwear you've ever worn. If you use the promo code BEAMAN, you also get 20% off your order. That's sheathunderwear.com, promo code BEAMAN for 20% off your order. The official underwear of the UFC. Be a man. Experience! Italians are funny. They are funny. <laughs> Jews funny. Are, Jewish people are funny. Ethnic people are funny. Yeah, Ethnic yeah. overall, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, black, white, Jews, mm. Italians, as long as they're animated and yeah. get fucking a lot of chutzpah stories. Chutzpah. Mm-hmm. You like fucking animation? Yeah. <laughs> it, adds, it adds to it. <laughs> you like uh, animation? It pulls me in because I have a small brain. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> My parents were hysterical. But day to day, fucking they, comedy. But they didn't know it. They didn't know yeah, it. Yeah, it was yeah. just the way they were. They was simply that way. Yeah. <laughs> Everything was a fucking skewed take oh, on life. Oh my god. Commentary. It was just funny. And it wasn't that I got older and looked back and thought it was funny. It was funny then, yeah. and it was funny my whole fucking life. Right. Like, it's just the, the, the whole be a man thing. I mean, half of it's because of my father. Right. The, way, the shit he said. I mean, it's like at least he left you that. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> My old man, uh, he, well, we talked about it, but the fucking commentary. He used to have this friend, Jimmy LaGrippo, come over. They'd play some fucking card game, yeah. and they would cheat. It was one-on-one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Screaming, hysterical, <laughs> fucking Donnie Brook fucking yelling matches over a fucking $2 game of fucking cards. Yeah. <laughs> fucking comedy. Like, you couldn't believe. You know? Was your mother funny? Yeah. No, she yeah, she's a character. Yeah, she still is. She, she English. She, she, yeah, she's yeah. like uh, English Irish. They have a different well, good, different sense of humor than the yeah, Italians. It's like, yeah, it's like it's totally different. More but cutting. The whole uh, culture thing yeah. is different. You Were know? they heavy in that vibe? Yeah, the, uh, she was just a very good sense of humor. Right. You know. You know how we were into being Italian. Yeah. Were they into being English? Not really. Yeah. See that. It, it's it. like a, she's like a English Irish Welsh Scottish that whole. Yeah. What's the difference between all that, anyways? Nothing. It's the same island, right? Not to me. Yeah. yeah. Some Just a different say, part of the boot. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Yet, if some people say, you Greeks, Italians, this, that, are all the same, I go, fuck you, we are. I know. I but know, the people I, from Great Britain, you go, you're all the same. My yeah. father used to get pissed. He'd be like, Greek pizza? What the? F-? There's no such thing. as All pizza's Italian. <laughs> right? Them Greeks like to think they started everything. <laughs> yeah. But speaking of funny people, in school, grammar school, I was... The class clown. I was a class I, clown too. But I bordered it on fucking bad behavior. Well, so yeah, of course. Yeah, you, you couldn't you couldn't be a class clown and not border on. That. Yeah, yeah, they so went it hand got in risque. Hand. You yeah. up the game. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly it's not cute anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're in detention. He was, Daddy. A, he was a performer at age five, and look at him. Then he was, was a motherfucker, man. Started at age five. I punched out a fucking window at St. Mary's School in Cambridge. <laughs> 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 told, yeah, for, the nun was fucking uh, getting physical with me. It was fucking really? rebelled. My father came up, sided with me. He screamed at the nun, too. Really? I go, what you think was going to happen here? My father was going to fucking listen to you and then hit me? How old were you? Seventh grade. Eighth oh, grade. Twelve, twelve. Oh, wow. My parents knew I used to get hit and stuff. They yeah. didn't. Well, it was different. Yeah. You could do that back then. They'd hit, wrap you in the fucking hand with a ruler. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These teachers. They told them. me to... The nuns, they took me, I forget what I did, I pissed in the wall or something, but they, they, they took me into a room, and they said, close your eyes, and they all started beating the shit out of me. 
No like way. Three of them. Wow, like a fucking blanket they fucking pirate gang bang you with they, yeah, violence. Like, close your eyes. Yeah. And they pummeled you? Uh, I remember broad <laughs> I remember one of them pulled, pulled me by the, the hair. You do me, actually man. pulled me by the hair oh. across the room. I I um I put crayon. You know how they had the radiators in the back yeah. room. I used to put crayons on there and have a melt on there. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what a dastardly fucking act! <laughs> I mean, this is when I was living in East Boston too, so I was right. like eight years old or younger. Yeah, yeah. I remember I was the type of kid they used to drag your desk in front of the classroom and face the class. Uh. <laughs> Like basically the fucking dunce cap. So yeah, yeah. just like this, and my classmates will be looking at me. I'll be sitting there picking your nose, going, hey, hey, hey. Uh, yeah. "Now you're on stage. Well, you're on fucking stage." Yeah. You say you think I'm a fucking degenerate and a loser? All right, I'm going all in. Yeah, I was a uh, kid. I grew up with. I saw I saw him. Uh, I haven't seen him since the summer. He's up in uh, Lincoln, New Hampshire. Every time I see him, he says the same thing. So. We used to wait, you know, you didn't know who was in your class. So when we saw you walk in, we knew it was going to be a good year. <laughs> we used to get, I used to get in trouble. Get I, used to go at, I used to go at, go at the teachers, like, get them pissed. And oh, me too. I, yeah. Yeah. I was a career detention guy. Yeah, me too. I stayed back in seventh grade, both times in seventh nice. grade. Nice, twice? Really? Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> awesome. You went through puberty in seventh grade. Oh, uh, yeah, pretty much. You're 25 years old in the eighth grade? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I ended up dropping out my my uh, second time as a uh, as a freshman. Yeah. Uh, no, second time as a sophomore. And oh, uh, so you were sixteen. Yeah. Because you ha- you can't be you can't, if you drop out before it's like a, oh, a right. crime, I think, right? And then and then a couple of years later, I wanted to go back, and uh, they wouldn't let me in because uh, <laughs> by the time I would have graduated, like I would have been twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> buying booze for fucking kids, so they they didn't want that. That's to happen. funny, man. Yeah, you couldn't play sports yeah. if you were like, uh, you could be nineteen, I guess, right? I don't even. But know. I know this, the the high school here, and they got they forfeited games years ago because I think it was like twenty semi pros on the team. Yeah, yeah. It was like convicts back so many times on the prison team. Yeah, but I mean, detention was pr- ultimately pretty cool. You got all the, uh, the all the, the goons. Yeah, all the goons, all the kids <laughs> in the entire school with the best sense of humor. Like I'd go on there and feel like I was, you know, fucking steel ar- uh, sharpening steel. Right. You have all the other fucking ball busters, and you're like, yeah. wow, you're fucking taking notes and fucking. <laughs> Sometimes as attention teachers, they were they were just getting paid like overtime for staying. They didn't give a fuck. Right. They didn't give a talk shit. Talking four around. Then you had ones that was like. Take it serious. If you talk, you get a, an extra week or an extra night of it, right? I was so persuasive. I would fucking sway the detention teachers to my side. Yeah. I go, let's break out of this fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> You're as much a prisoner here as I am. Let's get the fuck out of yeah. here. You don't want to take that shit, do you? They go, <laughs> fuck no. no you could, if, it was, if you had a bad detention teacher, it was grim. Yeah. yeah. You know, it was like fucking terrible. It was, that was detention. You wanted yeah, like the yeah. you wanted like the fat lady that was reading her fucking Danielle Steele novels right. and couldn't oh, give guy, a fuck. The less. guy that was a coach who you know couldn't like you like the kids and uh, the kids yeah. liked him. You know the best ones were the tough guys that you can relate to on that level. Go look, just don't break my balls, all right? <laughs> Sit there, we'll get through this a half hour. You'll be yeah, out of here. Right. Shut the fuck up. You uh, like yeah. this? All right, yeah. They <laughs> if a guy or a chick right? was yeah. dicky, then you then you'd break their fucking balls. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? But back to comedy and shit like that, right? When I was a kid, these fucking great comedians, the Bobby Hopes, Don Rickles. Yeah. Did you All like right. those guys, oh, man? Loved them. Johnny Carson. To me, that's where it left off yeah. comedy. I'm not fucking it's different now. My, you know, I mean, I like, hey, I don't give a fuck it's, about yeah, it. Yeah, it's different. I like just, the old timers. Just like it so is a lot different. So many comedians that I never heard of that are Be a Man fans. Yeah. It's like we get summoned to see them. You know, they <laughs> they, they, they want to meet me, so we go yeah. in. It's like. Who can blame me? You know, I don't want to name names, but there's like so many people I never heard of that I've met to the, you know, big current comedians. It's nothing against them. I just don't keep up with today's comedy. You don't give a fit. You're bigger than them. No, 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 no. Tell them. Well, because like comedy kind of became its own thing. It's too much. With the internet and everything, right? It's a whole different animal. Yep. Back in the day, you had to tune in to fucking Ed Sullivan on Sunday night. It's going way back. Yeah, he was the gatekeeper. comedian would come on. He was and that's where you saw a comedian. Yeah. Yep. Unless you went to the club back then, and nobody went that I knew. 
Yeah, I mean, right? there wasn't there wasn't like comedy clubs no, back then. No, like not no, until the really late sixties, seventies. Like, you have like Louis Prima and someone coming to town to play. You oh know, yeah, a lot of musicians. Yeah, slash musicians. comedy show. Yeah. yeah, those are the fucking. My parents used to go to those clubs. Yeah, great fuck. They don't have that shit anymore no. like that. But like a lot of people say that like the first stand up kind of, even though there was music involved, was like the rap pack. Like them up there doing routines oh, yeah. and shit in between songs yeah. and fucking, you know, doing who's on first type shit. Yeah. And fucking right, just basically Sammy's hanging balls. out and fucking people looking at him. Yeah, you know, busting each other's balls. My parents went out two or three times to saw him. Yeah, out in Vegas. Yeah. Were they see, the Dunes? Are the Sands? One of them. Must have been a junket though. A oh, junket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're taking a junket. Had to have been yeah. a junket. I could see you doing stand-up comedy. I'm good for five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Tell the people this is all you get. That's what, that's what all the all. girls it's tell me, too. Worth it. <laughs> yeah. Five seconds. And speaking of that again, how long do you last in that department between <laughs> you and depen- me? Well, it depends. If it's like a first time, it's like half a pump. Really? Oh, yeah. Nice. First time, yeah. You're all, you're all you know, excited. First so, timers are always an instant they dump don't for me. It's a new, yeah, they new don't. Pe- new piece. Yeah, you really show your medal the second time around. You go, don't judge me on my first outing. Yeah. It's like a pitcher. You got roughed up in two innings. It's all if, over. You if get I, yanked. <laughs> if I want to last, I'll drink like a fucking half a gallon of water before I do it. You pace I ca- yourself? I, I can't fucking, I can't complete unless, you know. <laughs> I can't, You're hydrated? I can't, I can't complete. I can't, <laughs> if, it takes me longer if I have a lot of water in my fucking gut. Oh, so you yeah. don't drink water in advance? Wow, no, that's, that's a good organic <laughs> trick. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> complete. Yeah. You complete me. <laughs> can't blow a load, all right? That's what complete means. Uh-huh. Did you like the Jerky Boys being man? Yeah, they're good. I like them. Yeah. You know why? We were all doing that shit. Yeah, exactly. yeah. fuck. Me and, and they, my friends yeah. did that. And when, we when, that, done that. No, when that shit came out, you couldn't, like, there wasn't a single fucking, like, blue collar truck oh that God. was driving around that didn't have that plan. Yeah. Like, everybody was fucking was listening like, did to it. Come it come out on, his, on, on a, a CD the first time? I was like, yeah. A, they, C- CD, it didn't come out on cassette first. No, they did. They oh, they had it on tapes. Were, well, there was there was originally a thing called Tube Bar that came out before it, right? And um, that was on cassette. And the original Jerky Boys came out on cassette and CD. Fucking so, love so, it. So, uh, it was like the cassette era when they came out, like in the yeah, it, they were right on the cusp. Yeah. No, the Jerky Boys were <laughs> mid like, to late seventies, mid to late nineties. That's right. No, they were they oh, were yeah, early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They That's were right. early 90s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was a new take on comedy because all you had up to that point was, you know, the stand-up comics, whatever. Movies was a different category. But to have another alternative to listen to people doing prank phone calls, I thought it was the best fucking thing going. Yeah. Uh, what, that was, two, three, five-year run they had, whatever it was, yeah. it was I, fucking I, funny. I listened to those fucking tapes nonstop. <laughs> I listened to them all the I time. I still listen from time to time. I do, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to No, they were, they were unbelievable. You know, I was a fucking master at that, calling people. Mm. It's really too bad we didn't type it. It was fucking yeah, great. We, we were right up there with the jerky boys, my crew. The shit we used to do was be like, you know, call up like a gay guy looking for a roommate and start fucking with him. And, <laughs> it's great fun. <laughs> someone, someone, who, someone who lost their dog. I told this before. It's like, I found your dog. Can I have a reward? So, oh, thank God. Where'd you find it? Well, I found half on the sidewalk, the other half on the street. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so fucking cruel. See, I think they really got good when they started, like, basically taking out ads in the paper saying that they were selling shit and having people call them. Oh, right. That's when it fucking, like, the muffin really came out of the pan because there was some classic ones. Yes. Yeah. Fucking tremendous. Oh, yeah. But now they like, went that's, away. But, but that's, like, kind of like the, well, before then, like, in the 70s and stuff, there was the comedy albums. I you love would, the comedy albums back in the 70s. Oh, my God. I was they big were the best. best. Hear the Bill Cosby album of a long, long, obviously, before you fell from grace. His album is called Bill Cosby is a Very Funny Fellow, right? I knew every word on that fucking album. And you look back on it, it was so fucking lame. He's really not that funny was, to was me, that guy. Was Albert one? Or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all that stuff. And to think that I thought that was hysterical. And then you listen to it years later and go, you suck. If I knew I had to only yeah. be this level, I would have been a fucking comedian. You suck. I think my parents had the Flip Wilson one. Oh, oh I like yeah. Flip. Remember Flip? The, the Rodney wife, album. wife beater, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. A lot of them beat the wives. Yeah. Fucking drug them. The Those be- two, anyway. Yeah. Right? 
The best was the uh, Cheech and Chong album oh, that came oh, with the fucking God, yeah. huge rolling paper. The, oh, Big Bamboo! <laughs> <laughs> that, for, that first movie was like the best comedy ever. That was awesome. That was incredible. I want to make a movie like that. Well, yeah. one thing Weed. that I... I recently watched it, and one thing that I it never really occurred to me is that like that movie is basically <laughs> taken from the segments that were on the album. Right. Oh, really? Yes. And, and so when you watch it, there's a lot of things that kind of... It's it seems like it's presented in almost acts right and that's because that's exactly what it is it's yeah. not really supposed to be a coherent plot no it's just a bunch of different yeah. scenes that tie together yeah. but the way that they, that it's edited they, and they did a great job acting too they did oh, yeah. i mean maybe they're not probably weren't acting right just acting as themselves but i remember there's about six or seven of us at college we all got fucking stoned went to watch it it's great yes yeah, stacy keach yeah, hey, 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 you're pissing on my leg. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot the moon. They threw Chong in fucking jail years later. Yeah. For selling, pi for selling pipes and shit. Yeah, yeah. You now he's not... doing it legally on Twitter. Right. Yeah, that's right. right. And he's fucking... he's doing edibles or something. Can yeah, he's fucking... doing all that shit. He's yeah. doing his, well, his pipes are like high end. His, 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 he his, embraced uh, the whole thing. Oh, his yeah. daughter's pretty hot, right? Yeah. Ray Dong Chong. Yeah. She's gonzo, is she? She did? No. As far as it being hot, I've heard that in uh, 30 years. Yeah, I don't, I no, I don't know if she's hot. Hot. <laughs> No, but Ray, no, no, she, yeah, she's dead. Yeah. But Ray Dong Chong? Ray she Dong Chong? Anymore, is she? Probably not. She used to be, though, like 30 years ago. Right. Yeah. No, I, I haven't heard, they're the first person I've heard utter her name in fucking 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot her first name. I just remember she Like that name, Ray Dong Chong? Yeah, Ray Dong, I thought maybe it was she was both, half though. Asian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because she had like the Ray Dong. Follow was fucking not an Asian, obviously, right? Tommy, Tommy Chong. You have the Chong name though. Yeah, it's what it's is a Chinese Chong? name? Isn't it? You would have known. Yeah, is yeah. That I Chinese, don't know. be a man. He could be half Chinese, maybe. You know any Chong's? Chinese Mexican? Yeah. I know some Chings. <laughs> <laughs> I know a couple some Chings. Chungs. I I know. I used to know a couple Chungs. Yeah. Chung Fucking Chung. Eugene Chung was a lineman for the Patriots. Yeah, and you get uh, Patrick Chung was a safety. Patrick yeah. Chung. That's yeah, right. but Eugene Chung was first. Right, they drafted him. He sucked. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, first Big round bust. pick. He looked he looked Asian. Stiff. But what's his name? Uh, he we, we met, remember we met him, uh, Chung? Oh, Patrick yeah, Chung? that's right. Yeah, yeah we so did. we were talking to him, and he's like, he, I think his, his father was Asian. More like a black guy, right? Yeah. He's a yeah. black guy, yeah. But his father's Asian. <laughs> his, um, his mother's black, and... He's telling us he loves hockey, and we're like, "Oh, really?" He's like, "What do you think? I can't play hockey because I'm black." He was like fooling around. Did you say yes? So he's a good guy. <laughs> but he, he's lo he loves hockey. I guess he's a good hockey player. Yeah. We somehow we got in that subject. Good guy. Be a man. Experience. How about these stiffs in life you made? They have zero. I mean, zero senses of humor. Oh. People want a real stick up their ass. Fucking oh. dry. It's a bummer. Dry. He's fucking what, dry. What, I don't, I can't handle that. It's fucking. Can you? That. No, I hate him. It's just, and I look at it like it's a choice. You're choosing to be a piece of shit and to piss on everybody else's mood. Right. You're just choosing to fucking not enjoy life. Complaining. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can't stand it. I mean, I complain, but I have a legitimate cause. Yeah, Other but you do it don't. in a funny way. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Uh, I'm not amused by your behavior, Mr. Biori. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, really. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> fucking boring. Go away. Just fucking boring. Idiots. Sam Kinnison, Rodney Dangefield, Dice Clay, great, 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 Roseanne yeah. Barr, yes, Bobcat Goldthwait, not so much to me. Too much, yes. too much, too loud. Dennis Miller, hey, so so. He's okay. Sam yeah. Allen going, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I was a sucker for it. I loved it. Did you like that? <laughs> yeah, oh, a, 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 a lot of people did. Tim Dick, his name is Tim Dick, for real. That's his real name. Oh, yeah. When I found that out, I was like, oh. Really? <laughs> I saw like I remember like uh, Steve Allen guys like that. Right. Like when I was younger, oh, because yeah. my parents were watching. Yeah. You know, and uh, Joey Bishop. And Joey Bishop, a Rat Packer. Yeah. The, the the least member of the Rat Pack. Yeah. Hey, you're in the Rat Pack. Sid Caesar. Sid Caesar. Like, Sid Caesar. Guys what like a that. Name. I, like that was you know probably when you were like ten. Like I was like days. six or seven. Right, yeah, like, yeah. like on TV, my parents would be watching. Huge. You have like people over there. I'll be watching, yeah, yeah. eating, have laughing. Sid Caesar and Imogene Coco. Yeah, <laughs> that was the wife. Yeah, she too was a sucky comedian. <laughs> she too was an unfunny comedian like him. Blonde, yeah. right? Is she blonde? I don't even know. Yeah, 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 fucking yeah. dingbat. Remember the name? I think she's the one they tied up on the roof of the car in uh, vacation with Chevy Chase. Remember they were oh, driving yeah, the yeah. fucking person was tied on the roof. Yeah, I think it was her. Wasn't that her? 
I'm pretty sure, sure it was. Well, she she, she must her. have been older than that. Yeah, she had an old bag by then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sound terrible, don't I? <laughs> hey, when I'm an old fuck, if I make it, you call me whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Yeah, exactly. Who cares, right? Yeah. I expect to be made fun of and treated meanly. Uh, yeah. Well, it depends if you... Yeah, but if you're a cool old person, you won't be. But if, you, if you're not, you bring it upon yourself. As you long get, as you're not shuffling around like yeah. an old man. Yeah. Yeah, but if, if you're a funny old man, right. then you're fucking endearing and yeah. everybody loves you. George Burns. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Smoked all them cigars, lived to be yeah. 100. You didn't give a fuck. Yeah. Gra- remember Gracie? <laughs> I follow this old man on boxing, like, you know, thing on uh, Instagram, whatever. The guy's about 78, 79 years old. Shim hit the fucking bag. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know I'm not tough. I wouldn't fight this guy. This fucking guy legitimately <laughs> will knock you the fuck out. Not, not you, of course, <laughs> but other people. He, he knows how to bob, weave, move. Mm-hmm. Two, three minutes, sustained fucking action. I go, was he, was he a boxer? In yeah, this? He was oh, a boxer. oh, he was a boxer. But he yeah. still got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He fucking is like, I go, this guy's snapping you, fucking punches. You see Tyson hit the bag? When you see them guys hit the bag, you go, oh, that's how you hit the bag. I hit the bag nothing like yeah, this I at know. all. It's like they're fucking, <laughs> fucking patty cake. The thing doesn't even move. Yeah, you think the bag's going to fucking explode. <laughs> oh, they make the fucking thing swing. Oh, God. Yeah. I you, get some guy, you get the guy oh, holding yeah, it yeah. so it doesn't, right? Sometimes them guys stick their face on and they get fucking nailed right in the fucking mug. I tell people, I tell them to say this all the time. You think you're in good shape? Try hitting a heavy bag for 30 seconds. That's right. Just 30 seconds. I can't. You know? I mean. <laughs> I can't hit the bag in front of people. Why? Because ultimately I know I don't hit it like a real man. Yeah. They got a bag right in the middle of the fucking gym I go to. Mm-hmm. Right there. Yeah. So if you hit it. Everybody yeah, would well, see you and hear yeah. you. Uh, so you go, listen, I'm not ready for that fucking performance because I suck. <laughs> yeah, right. But if I could rock that bag, Bob and Weaver going, huh, 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 would he's blow? I would fucking do it. Do you get a speed bag there too? Or? No, no, no. Just a big one. But it's weird. It's like right a, in the fucking area. Like a big, huge ball hanging right out. Right there. They, a lot of gyms. Yeah, yeah my gym got that Everybody's going to see me hit the bag like a pussy. I, I can't mean, do that. Yeah, how, about think, those, uh, punching, how about those punching machines, like the arcade games? Oh, yeah, I like those. <laughs> it registers on the fucking yeah. meter, right? <laughs> I saw one the other day where I was with my kids. I was tempted to do it, but I said, why? To fucking belittle myself? Yeah. <laughs> I want yeah, to it's like, shit. What you are you going to say? You fucking you... throw your shoulder out that age. If you don't do not do it, you fucking throw your shoulder out. <laughs> like sprain your wrist. There's a great <laughs> meme going around. One of them fucking reels. Some guy steps up to it. Probably seen it. He goes, winds up to hit that fucking bag. He goes face first on the fucking ground and gets knocked out. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking follies in the, the, the punching game. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the tons punching of them. game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game, isn't it? Mm. Oh, it's great. Have it, you ever done it? I've I've done it and I definitely didn't get the number I thought I was capable of. <laughs> yeah, I've done it a few times. I forget. I don't think I've ever done yeah, it. Yeah, like, that, like you know what I see now. But you might want to have three tries at it so you really get everything just to give yourself a true grade. Mm. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Because you may be off one punch. Whatever. I mean, I see, you see a lot of people just take a step and a half running. That punch doesn't into count. It. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. You know. No. You're going to make believe it's the 15th fucking round. Mm. <laughs> You're behind on all scorecards. Yeah. And you go, okay, I need a fucking left. KO. Yeah. What do I you got? got? Full haymaker. <laughs> <laughs> Bust the fucking Mathis. <laughs> yeah. Remember him? He got I KO'd don't. by everybody. I do. <laughs> but one of the things that, that kind of makes like going out and uh, going places is dealing with funny staff like going to a bar and there's like waitresses that bust your balls but they're fun yeah. about it you know like fun bartenders that'll fucking yeah. you know tell a joke and fucking light up your smoke you know i know i noticed <laughs> like when the I, song <laughs> when i was in vegas i know so many bartenders had personality oh you know oh, just yeah. fucking good shits it's a good formula yeah. if you want to make money yeah well right? that's you know that's the thing because I will tip push. the yeah. shit. I will tip the shit out of a exactly. fucking funny bartender. Exactly. If, you, if if he or she makes me laugh, bang, bang make out. me feel I'm the only man in the bar. Yes, with my drink and a quippy comment. Yeah, it's a whole different. I'm yours. Though. Yeah. <laughs> or bust somebody else's balls and like include right. me in in on the joke. Right. I'll do that all day. Exactly. You like a, fl- a bartender with a little fucking spin around moves, like cocktail the movie, all that <laughs> yeah, bullshit. Yeah. You like that? A little possessed. A little yeah, show like A little different, yeah. A little like razzle the dazzle. thing with the fucking yeah. Japanese. Little, you know, I like when they're working a chick, too. You oh, see when yeah, they're working yeah, a chick. Yeah. Well, yeah. we all saw that John has a uh, classic uh, shaker 
the bartender oh, yeah. shaker shaker move. Love when that. we did the uh, when we did the be manly thing for the yeah. show, I <laughs> stole that shake and bag move from fucking Joe Sullivan, the bartender at the t- park and tavern in Charlestown, Somerville line. Oh yeah, <laughs> shot five times on five different occasions, survived. Really? People trying to rob his shitty little bar he had. It's fucking great. <laughs> He's like fifty cent. Oh yeah, <laughs> Jesus, shut up. He ain't going to let them steal no fucking money from him. Yeah. Joe Sullivan. Is he still there? No. He might, if he would, he'd be 140 by oh, now. Oh, okay. He was the guy with the ham and cheese. He did with mustard. <laughs> yes, Joe, with mustard. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't wait to lean in and go, with mustard. <laughs> with mustard. <laughs> go, Joe, I'm getting the fucking ham and cheese from the park at Tavern. Of course I'm going to have mustard on it. Yeah. <laughs> The guy wiped his balls, his ass, uh, handled money, smoked cigarettes, made drink, and then he made your fucking ham and I cheese know. sandwich. Uh, and you thought nothing of it. No. Nothing. <laughs> no. I don't think of his filthy disease. <laughs> no. Now we're grossed out. Now we're grossed out. Now you skeeve off. <laughs> yeah. You, you know, skeeve be a man. Oh, you big skeeve time. people. I hate other people's dirt. How about their breath? Oh. No. I hate it. No good. <laughs> <laughs> hate people's breath. I know. I'm known to have <laughs> asshole breath, but you know, it's my breath. Oh, yeah. But when it's from someone else, oof. Yeah. Be a man. Experience! One of the best things to laugh at is the miser- the misery and misfortune of other that people. That is the best. Oh, it is. I love watching, like, uh, two kids collide on a fucking bike. A bicycle yeah. is a oh, God. Yeah. Well, you notice <laughs> I put my stories now. I put funny things of people having mishaps. It's my favorite thing. It's the I best. howl. It's all day. It's all day, right? You can watch that all day. Oh, yeah. I can't yeah. get enough of it, actually. Watching, I just people, watching people fall, watching people yeah. get hit, watching people get sucker punched. Isn't it great? Watch, you, watch, <laughs> you watch like a lot of shit with animals, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like dogs and cats. Yeah. Like fucking I, I watch dog shit all day. Oh, world's okay. biggest Put a cucumber puppy behind cock. a cat. And <laughs> yeah. They, they think it's like a snake, I think, is why they, they freak out. out. But they, like, they fucking, they'll hit the roof. They'll jump. Really? Out. Yeah. At the side of a cucumber? Yeah. I'm going to go home and try it with those cats. Yeah. <laughs> so if I Just walk in, I have them? a cucumber in my pocket. If I go like this. Well, they, well you got to put, oh, like, if they're eating the food, do it behind them. Don't let them see it. Oh, how about if they So when they turn around, they think it's like a snake. Because oh. they can't, I read they can't differentiate between yellow and green. <laughs> Fucking so, morons. So they yeah. think they think they think it's a snake. <laughs> really Fucking, smart yeah. animals, my ass. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, they're, they're colorblind for that color, so they. For some reason, they think it's a snake. Should I cruelly go fuck with the cat with a cucumber? Yes. Yeah. Because I got nothing else to do, and I feel lousy about myself. You got myself. like three cats up there, right? Four. That's a lot yeah, of so cucumbers. I think my cats, I think one of them just looked at it and was like, oh, whatever. And the other one, I think, a little freaked out. But Do you feel your cats truly love you? <laughs> or they, could, they, or they love being fed. Do you think yeah, they'd build a new family they, tomorrow they, and not they, miss a beat? Yeah. I do. Yeah. That's right. After, after a day. At one, yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah. Not even. Huh? <laughs> yeah, they're just friend, they're friendly, so there'd be like no thing. I'm the new guy. I'll be giving them the food. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the other guy. I got, I, got a place to, I got a place to sleep all day. All right, you know that fucking owner you had for thirty years? He get hit by a fucking bus. <laughs> like they go. So what? Where's my fucking bowl of milk? Yeah. Are you the new guy? <laughs> you could give a fuck less. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it was always good trying to continue your laughter in church or something oh, like that. Yeah, yeah. Those were the best fucking laughs, weren't they, when you were a kid? Oh, yeah, they, like nothing made what, what do you like... What when a kid? <laughs> right. Yeah, nothing made it funnier than the fact that you weren't supposed to laugh. It, it to, would take a, a normal joke and just shoot it through the roof. My, my parents oh. used to have names for, because like, there was a lot of big families that used to go to church. Yeah, together, yeah. And they used to all sit in order, like the, the father, mother, <laughs> oldest, all, yeah. you know. They had names for all the different families. Look at them all in church. They have, they have like a name for every family. We cracked up inappropriately. I told this before, but I don't give a fuck. I'll tell it again at my father's funeral, graveside. <laughs> we literally <laughs> openly all laughed because some nice doctor, I'll tell it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? About the soul. And he yeah. said, I saw the valor, yeah. Yeah. He goes, Doc, I didn't storm the beaches of Normandy to let this beat me. We all looked at each other. We fucking burst out laughing. The poor guy had no idea. Yeah. He was fed a line of bullshit by my old man. That's great. Isn't that great? Yeah. We fucking laughed. And somebody goes, that's Chucky. <laughs> that's Chucky. He would say that. Was that his, what was his first Charles. name? Charles. His... Some called him Charlie. His... Some called him Chucky. He didn't have an Italian first name? No. Then my sister said his real name was Carmen. I go, huh? 
Yeah, huh? see? <laughs> Shit like that. Well, yeah, that's my whole, my whole family. It's a lot of record keeping. Yeah, well, my whole family um, on my father's side, it's like they have their real name. They don't want to call them. <laughs> right. They have a nickname. Then they have the name on the birth certificate. We find this out every time one of them was dying. That's right. That's see, what happens. We see the see the birth certificate, <laughs> and we're like, "Oh, his name was Liberato." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. But they called him Libby. <laughs> you know, and it, but his but everyone referred to him as Mac. It was his yeah, he's <laughs> really Enzo Stuati. <laughs> yeah, but you like, knew him as Bob. <laughs> yeah. his, his name was Sarah. Huh? His, his name was Serafino, but everyone called him Salvatore. Right, but his but his real name's Paul. But his close but, but friends called him Paul, Jimmy. Yeah, it's like, it's like they all had three names. Even my aunt. It was, right? Yeah, even my aunt. I, know. Like, I, like, I yeah. like a mismatch of names for a person. You know? yeah, yeah, they all had three. It's great. The, the real one, the one everyone called him, and their nickname. And you know what's great when you have that, like, say two people really kind of know the story, and the third piece of person goes, wait a minute, what, what, I'm confused here. I thought he was Bob. <laughs> oh, yeah, what, what is his real name? Yeah. And then you go into the whole fucking story, the head spinning. Yeah. <laughs> By the time it's over. <laughs> Be a man. Experience! Well, I reckon we learned some valuable lessons today, buckaroos. Always laugh at other people's misfortune. Embrace the funny people in your life, and never trust a fucking stiff with no sense of humor. Be a man. I hope you enjoyed the... Be a man. Experience!